too late. You can't help her. Just keep walking. <laughs> I did your friend a favor. I'm leaving. Please. Let us repay you. We have food. Please. You saved my life. We owe you that much. My name is Bellamy. Bellamy Phelps. This is my wife, Catherine. And your name? Wanda. Wanda? Is that short for something? Like Wanda or Tawanda? No. Just Wanda. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. When I didn't see you at the camp, I knew something must have happened. Luckily, you came along. <laughs> so. If you don't mind me asking, who were you before the boom? Who was I? Yeah. What did I you do? I was a chef. Oh, wow, that's ironic. <laughs> I wasn't a real chef. I just like cooking. Me too. I just love being in the kitchen. That's not what I meant. Oh, of course. I knew that. What I meant was that um, I used to be a housewife. Oh, not like one of those reality show ones. No. I actually took care of things while Belle worked as a surgeon over in Mount Sinai. Everything was good for us. Until it happened. It was so horrible. Everybody was in panic and we just packed up what we could and left the rest behind. I know what you mean. It's rough out here. Rough isn't even the word. You need to do whatever it takes to make it out here. Whatever it takes. What a horrible way to live, huh? Yeah. Why was that guy chasing you, anyway? What? You never said why that guy was chasing you. These days, people don't try killing people unless they have a reason. Oh, that man. Oh, um, he was trying to steal our food. And Belle stepped away to get some firewood and he stumbled across our camp and I told him we didn't have anything but he didn't believe me. And that's when he, uh, he threatened me and started chasing me. And I went back to the camp and didn't see her there and I knew she wouldn't just leave like that so I thought the worst I went looking for. Her. And that's when you showed up. Perfect timing. <laughs> well. This is us. There's some food in that bag over there. It's not much, but you can have it. Oh, don't worry about us. We had a little something earlier. Please, go on. I insist.
I know you guys did not have to do this, but thank you. Catherine? Why didn't you just wait till I got back? It was one guy! I figured I could take him! By yourself? Please, this is why you gather, I watch. Never again. Well, I'm sorry! It's not like you haven't made mistakes yourself! I know I have, Kathy, but that's not an excuse. We've done this numerous times. That mistake almost got you killed! Well, we have her now, so we're good. And what if she didn't show up? Hmm? What if I didn't reach there in time? He would've... That didn't happen! So let's just get back on track, okay? I'll get the wood. You stay. Shut up. You shut the hell up. Right now. Let me go! Can't do that. Look, anything you want, take it. I never saw you. We both have a good day. It's not that easy. We need you now. You need me, but you're just gonna kill me. What's the point? Fine. Just get it over with. Think this is easy? Using people like this? I don't enjoy this. Look around you. Everything's changed. So we had to change with it. on the street and you had a choice whether to help them or not you know you could but the real question is would you now you no longer have a choice you don't have the luxury of helping anyone because you have to worry about helping yourself Are you serious? Hey, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. We're just trying to be the bigger dog. We used to have another person with us. My best friend. Fifteen years. Love that guy like a brother. You remember last year's winter? It was so damn cold, we ended up having to find a bus to sleep in to keep warm. We ran out of what we saved up fast. We were weak too, without food. In the end, my wife and I, we had each other. My friend, he had us, but he also had no one. Kept saying he didn't want to live anymore, you know? He gave up. But we didn't. We were left with a choice. Die in that bus, or find some way of making it through that winter. So we did what we had to do. After a while, we got used to it. 
liked it. <laughs> you know, cannibalism was common thousands of years ago, all over the world too. Parts of Africa, Asia, New Guinea, even some evidence right here in the US. Most tribes who practiced it believed that after they consumed their deceased, they would inherit the skills of whomever they ate. If that's the case, I'm part doctor, part teacher, part truck driver, and now I'll have some chef in me, which will come in handy when we prep the next one who comes along. Now that's Company. Shit. She has to go. Pass me the cloth in the bag. Okay. Hello. How many will help you? You lost? You sort directions of. or something? Sort of. I'm looking for a friend of mine. He's about this tall. Dark gray pants, a gray shirt. You guys seen him? Uh, no, sorry, but uh, we haven't seen anyone around here all day. Well, except for you. You sure? I think he was coming this direction. Well, actually, come to think of it, I believe I did see someone walking about earlier. She just said you guys didn't. The thing is, she wasn't around earlier. Hmm. I was here checking our things when I saw someone out of the corner of my eye passing by, but I didn't think anything of it. Usually like to mind my own these days. I think you know where he headed? Well, I mean, I was over here checking out things when I saw someone going that way. Yeah, it was definitely that way. Why would Jay go that way? Doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, it's, it's strange. There's, there's nothing much over there. Well, I hope we were of some help. You were. Thanks. I'll start my trip from here. What was that? Um... It must have been the squirrels. Uh, yeah, they're always running around looking for food. It's tough out here for them too, you know? It's not bigger than a squirrel, don't you think? Um. I think I'm gonna go check it out. I should go with you. Just in case. Looks like your wife is right. Must have been a squirrel or something. Yeah. It's just a strange noise, that's all. All right, thanks for your help anyway. Yeah, sure, no problem. Well, what happened? She's gone. What? Gone? I thought you tied her up. How'd she get out? I don't know, Kathy. Clearly I was occupied with our guests. Ugh! All right. All right, makes no sense arguing about it. She must be far gone. There's no way we could catch her. Man, what's in that cooler? Isn't gonna last us much longer, Belle. We need somebody and soon. Two people gone in one day? What's wrong with us? I don't know, but we... It's getting late. We need to get some rest. Try again tomorrow. Let's hope we make it till tomorrow. The nights are getting colder. We'll be fine. Hey, hey. We need to get this fire started. Get some rest.
What was that? I don't know. Probably a branch fell. Probably you should check it out. Fine. Be right back. Nothing. I told you. I'm glad to see you got back to sleep. Kathy? Kathy! No, 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 Kathy, no! Oh god, Kathy, please! No, Kathy! Kathy! Oh god! Kathy! Where are you?! Come out! Come on out and face me! Come on! I'm right here! Where are you? Kathy! Oh God! Please no! Kathy! Kathy, please! Kathy! Oh God! I'm so sorry! Besides, that bitch in your life had it coming, and so do you. Fuck! Damn you, woman! Damn you to hell! Too late! We're already here. You know what's funny? You asked me who I was before the boom, remember? I told you I was a chef. I realized I was more than that. I... I was a nice person. I was open to people. And then I learned it could almost get you killed out here. You learn fast when your life is on the line. That's what's similar between you and I, Belle. We had to do what we had to do. But you see, the difference is I didn't do what you thought was necessary to keep going. I didn't give up. You said your friend gave up on that bus. Your friend didn't give up. You and your wife did. When I used to bake and uh, cook for my friends, I'd carve a W into everything I made. Cakes, pies, cookies, you name it. I put my signature on it. My W. So everyone knew it was a Wanda creation and they loved it. Excuse me, I haven't made a real meal in a little while, but I think you might appreciate this. So. Without further ado, I present to you my latest creation, Bell's Balls. Bon Appetit! How do you like it? How do you taste? Because it'll be the last thing you ever eat on this godforsaken earth. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm starving. 